Today we will look at a question from the 2015 HSC paper where we are required to calculate the reaction force at support A. So let's go. Welcome to the next edition of Eureka Engineering HC Solutions. Today we will look at a question from the 2015 HC paper, question 24B, part I, where it asks us to find the reaction at support A. Now when we look at the diagram, we look at joint B, which is a pin joint, and joint A, which is a roller joint. Now with a pin joint, we know that there are two forces, horizontal, vertical. With the roller joint, there is a force that acts perpendicular to the surface of the roller joint. So step one, draw your reaction forces. So step one, draw reaction forces. So there's one that's perpendicular to the surface of the roller joint, and there's the two forces at B. Dx, dy, ax. Now, the next step is to do sum of moments about pin joint B. By doing sum of moments about B, it gets rid of these two forces, leaving the one unknown, which is what we are interested in, and that is ax. So, next step sum of moments about B equals zero to eradicate forces. At pin joint B. So, sum of moments about B equals zero, and I'm going to take the anti clockwise moment direction as my positive. So, we've got this force AX times its perpendicular distance, and it's going to go in this direction. So, it's going to be negative as it's going in the clockwise. So, minus AX times 1.5. And we've got this force also going in the clockwise direction, so a negative 1200 times the perpendicular distance, 1.5. And we have this final force, 750 times the perpendicular distance, which is 4.5. So minus 750 times 4.5 equals 0. Clean it up, simple mathematics, 1.5 AX equals... Negative 1200, 1 1.5 minus 750, 4.5. Therefore, AX equals negative 3450 newtons. Now, because my AX is negative, that means I've assumed this direction incorrectly. So, so to correct that, all we need to do is just flip the direction of AX. Therefore, AX equal 3, 4, 50 newtons going that way. And that's your solution for part A, part B, question 24.